The man you're looking at went for a morning run and came back with 7,000 pounds of trash that he collected from a creek. Who is this guy? Why does he exercise like this? And why is there a Christmas tree floating down a creek? In Kentucky, USA, I found Curtis. Hi, I'm Curtis, AKA Creek Runner 242, and I've pulled over 7,000 pounds of trash out of the creek so far. One day on his morning run along the creek, he saw something unbelievable. A mattress was flowing down the water. He couldn't believe his eyes, so he came back the next day and saw the same thing again and again and again. And it wasn't just mattresses, but also beds, carpets, and even gates floating on top of a creek heading towards the river. It really baffles me how some people, they just, they just don't care. And they will literally, I've seen them throw stuff right out their window. The truth is that people do not know where to dispose big items, and they end up throwing them in the creek because it's easy. But what they don't realize is that this trash will float down the creek into the river and eventually into the ocean, poisoning the planet. That there was so much trash piling up, years and years and years of trash building up over time. And these creeks are basically the source that runs into rivers and eventually into oceans. Eventually, a lot of this trash that's in the creek will end up probably in an island of trash somewhere out in the ocean. So Curtis decided, if no one will pick this trash up, he will. He strapped on his helmet, his running shoes, his knee pads, took a trash bag, and started picking out trash while doing his morning run. What I generally do is I pick all the trash that I can, and then I sort of jog the bags back in. So that's kind of where the running part comes into play. And so he ran and ran and ran every single week, two, three times a week, without fail, and picked up a total of 7,000 pounds of trash from crazy things like carpets, mattresses, bottles, boxes, pipes, and even a Christmas tree. Yes, someone threw a Christmas tree in a river, and I actually found it on Christmas Day. The work wasn't always so easy. It's hard to run on rocks and pick up trash and stop and continue. And there were times when Curtis would injure himself seriously. I basically st stepped on a piece of sharp glass that stabbed through my shoe into my foot and it caused my foot to swell up. And I couldn't go into the creek for at least a week. But he never stopped. He even went one step further. What he took out of the streams, he didn't just throw in the landfills. Instead, he made it into art. In his hands, anything can be turned into something beautiful. A door, a piece of wood, or even a satellite. Take uh, things like scrap metal and trash that otherwise would be either thrown away or discarded and actually make it into art. So it sort of fuses these two things together, my love for picking trash with my love for art. Now, he doesn't run alone anymore. He's creating a group of runners so that together they can get more and more trash out of the water. Today is a pretty exciting day. It is our first group cleanup. This is everything we pulled, the entire push mower. And, uh, there's a muffler, a couple of tires. We have to stop trash at its source. A polluted mindset leads to a polluted creek that can go to pollute the river, pollute the ocean, pollute the animals, and pollute the entire planet. My number one message for anybody who is dumping trash, please stop. You're not only hurting other people and wildlife, but Ultimately, you are hurting yourself in the long run. That is why people like Curtis, who stop trash at the source, are the reason humanity is beautiful.